Hi everyone. So in this video, we provide a comparison between dropout and bagging, since dropout can also be considered as an ensemble method. So let's think of the, although there are variants of bagging and variants of dropout, let's think of the typical way to implement dropout and the typical way to implement bagging, right? So the typical way to implement bagging is that you have multiple models, right? And then you have one training set, you sample with replacement, from that training set, and then you train each model on uh, uh, its own independently sampled set from the same original training set. What's the typical way to implement dropout? You have one network, then you assign dropout probabilities to each of the input units and the hidden units, and then you draw a realization from that distri the distribution induced by these probabilities for each training example you draw a realization of the network and then you train only that realization of the network right so you ignore all the units that are dropped okay so what's what's the point of analogy between dropout and bagging basically that you can think of dropout as having an exponential number of models exponential in the number of input and hidden units corresponding to all the possible network realizations and then each of these models is trained with only the training examples for which the realization was drawn from the distribution right so if for the first example i draw realization one for the second example i draw realization two then and then for the third example, let's say I draw realization one again. Then I can think of, I have two models, realization one and realization two. And then realization one is trained with training example one and three. Realization two is trained with training example two, right? So, uh, and, and then in both cases, I take the vote on all the models, whether in the ensemble of models in bagging, or the different realizations corresponding to their likelihood of being drawn from the distribution, all these models vote on every test example. And uh, this is basically where the analogy is, right? So you have the models trained on different examples. There is potential overlap between the examples used to train different models, right? So maybe there is one example when I sample with replacement that's used for in uh, for training more than one model in the case of bagging in dropout as well because i draw a different realization for every training example in a many batch right but as we'll see in the next section many batches could have overlap between training examples right so the same training example when it happens in many batch one maybe i draw one realization for the network right and the same example in many batch two can happen, but with, but will be trained with a different realization, right? So there is a potential overlap between the examples used to train different models. Now, what are the differences? In bagging, one major difference is that in bagging, you typically have few models, right? So maybe five models, 10 models. In dropout, the number of models is actually very large because it's an exponential number of the number of hidden and input units which is sometimes thousands right so the number of models in that analogy in the case of dropout that we train it can be two to the thousand or two to the hundred thousand right what's the other difference in bagging each model has its own parameters and they are trained independently in dropout there is parameter sharing between the models right so what does that mean so let's say i have two input models, two hidden units, right? And then there is this realization. This realization has this weight, W11, right? And let's say I have another realization where that input unit is not there. W11 is also there, right? When I train that first realization, right? W11 is updated that affects this second realization even though it's not being trained when i train the next the second realization w11 is also being updated so the different model the very large number of models in dropout that are being trained they share parameters 
right? And this parameter sharing is what allows training all of them simultaneously, even though I use only very few examples or in some cases zero for training each model. Meaning what? Meaning that some of the, real, uh, the realizations may never occur, right? Especially if I have a large number of input and hidden units and a smaller uh, and a number of examples that's not exponential in them, right? So let's say I have, uh, uh, let's take a toy example. So I have four here, right? So four corresponds to 16 realizations. Let's say I have only 10 training examples. Then some of these realizations will never occur during training. Right. But because they share parameters with other realizations that are being trained, that are being trained, then I'm implicitly training them. Right. So even if the number of examples is exponential uh, in the number of input and hidden units, these uh, that it's typically will not be a big multiple. Right. Of the of the exponential. So uh, even if I uh, uh, have here uh, four units, right? So that corresponds to 16 realizations. I will typically not have much more than uh, a multiple, uh, uh, a big multiple of 16. I, I will typically not have a big multiple of 16 in that toy example as a number of training examples. So I will end up training every model with very few examples, right? But in the case of bagging, I train every model actually with a set whose size is proportional to the size of the original training set, which can be hundreds of thousands of examples. And that's not the case for dropout. But because in bagging, I don't have parameter sharing, so that's why between the different models, so that's why I need a large training set for every separate model. Sounds good. I think this analogy is very useful to note the analogy between dropout and bagging, and uh, it can be useful to think about uh, basically the advantages and challenges uh, regarding dropout when you think of it in this way as a form of begging. Thank you.